Hi there, I'm Scott Lowe with Actual Tech Media, and I'm here today to talk to you about the reality of actual IT departments in 2017. As you go to shows like Dell EMC or other shows that are out there in the marketplace, you might get the sense that all the people in the world are on the same page when it comes to what they're doing with enterprise IT. Everybody's current. Everybody's moving to the public cloud at a blistering pace. Well, I'm here to tell you that there are things out there that might be just a little bit different than that reality that you've been told about. So here's what I've seen in my consulting practice uh, over the last couple of years. I've seen a lot of organizations that really rain, that run the spectrum from really well positioned to really poorly positioned in a lot of different ways. And I think it's important for analysts and for salespeople and for those of us who are influencers in the, in the marketplace to understand the full range of what actual IT pros are facing day to day. And it's a full spectrum, like I said. Let's start at the bottom. I've seen clients that aren't backing their data up, and I've seen this recently. And the reason they're not backing it up is because, first of all, they don't know enough to know that things like snapshots aren't backed up. They didn't have appropriate software tools and hardware in place to actually back their data up in the first place and they thought that they were being backed up in other ways. So they created these homegrown sort of backup systems that were very difficult from which to recover. So in the event that something actually happened, they would have been in a world of hurt. I helped them specify a new backup solution and all is well now, but at the time, they were at very high risk. Now also, relatively recently, I was at a speaking engagement and I was talking to the audience. I like to ask the audience questions when I do speaking engagements. And one of the questions I asked jokingly was, who's not doing any virtualization? And somebody raised their hand. And I was like, oh, this guy's joking, right? They're not, he's, he's doing virtualization. And I, I said, you're not doing virtualization? And his answer was no. And I said, are you serious? And he went, absolutely serious. And I asked him, why are you not doing virtualization? And his answer was, because I think it's a fad. And I think that it's gonna go away. And he's probably right, it will go away at some point, but it'll be because he's out of a job or because everybody's gone to the cloud at some point. But the thing that I think that people need to keep in mind, influencers, people watching this, is there's people, if you're, an, if you're an IT pro that feels like you're woefully behind where you think you should be because you're not you know, uh, up, to up to speed from what Gartner tells you you should be, you're not. There are people out there that are far worse off than you. And that's at the bottom end of the spectrum. Where I see a lot of folks in really the mainstream middle of the market are those that are working really hard to basically keep the lights on. And when we talk to organizations like that, they've got the basics covered. They've got a help desk, they've got decent infrastructure, but their IT department is still spending a lot of time on putting out fires. Rather than helping the organization innovate, they've got just enough IT staff to be able to keep the lights on and basically tread water. And that's where we see a lot of organizations today. Again, these are organizations who are not necessarily keeping up with uh, what they see analysts and, and folks like that telling them they should be doing, um, but they are not falling further behind necessarily either. They're working, like I said, hard to keep current. And just by the fact that they're watching a video like this shows that they're willing to learn, they're willing to see what else is happening out there. And that does put them ahead of some of the others in the market that are not necessarily as interested in um, say, staying current. They really just want to sort of do their thing and go home. The sad part is there's so much resistance to change um, in people that, uh, in, in a lot of IT pros. And one of the things that frustrates me is when I talk to IT pros that are not willing to change, they're frustrated with their organization sometimes because their organizations aren't doing enough, um, but they're not also willing to sort of keep pace with what's happening in the market. And there's always new stuff happening. Every week there's new announcements. And as we look at this spectrum of IT capabilities, again, the mainstream folks out there, um, I think in general are willing to, to sort of look at, you know, potentially changing things, but there's a lot of people that aren't. You know, a number of years ago, I wrote an article that basically was 10 things IT needs to stop doing. And it was simple things. It was things like fixing printers. It was things like managing printers. And my, one of my pieces of advice was, you should just get rid of that. Outsource all your printer junk. No one likes printers. Everyone hates printers, except users who want, every one, every one of them want, wants one on their desk. Um, the only people who like printers are users, and IT hates them. So don't do it anymore. Well, the kind of feedback I got was, well, if I'm not managing printers, I don't have a job. 
And I think that's really short-sighted um, in a lot of ways. One, it's really not a value add to the organization, but two, it's not a value add to your career. Putting on your resume, I manage all our printers, is not necessarily gonna move you forward from a career perspective. And so I think that it's important for IT pros, especially in this mainstream, that are really on the cusp of potential greatness, to, be, to have the willingness to um, look outside what they're doing, look at ways that they can uh, ben in increase their value to the organization and do something different. And so that's the mainstream side of the house. I think analysts do a, a lot of analysts do a disservice to the folks in this mainstream space. These are folks that are really working hard to keep up, but they're being told all the time that they're falling farther and farther behind. Now, obviously analysts are paid to help people understand what's coming down the pike, but at the same time, it's important for analysts to understand the reality of what people are facing. Again, these are organizations that are working hard to fight fires, that are keeping the lights on for their organizations and doing a serviceable job at that. Where these organizations need to actually move to though is where, where it shows like Dell EMC World and look at what organizations are doing that are look at potentially transforming their businesses and transforming IT at the same time around doing, I'm not gonna say doing more with less, but about look, using technology to help accelerate the business. And there's a lot of different, um, obviously, products and solutions out there to help you do that. But it does require a different, a different sort of mindset in the business and in IT. And I say that both of those things intentionally. Both the business and IT have to both be partners in these sort of transformation efforts. It's important for IT to be able to be comfortable enough with the business to say, we need to make certain changes in order to be able to accelerate product growth, accelerate the growth of the bottom line, reduce expenses, whatever it takes. The business has to also push back on IT and say, we need you to do more. And we're gonna give you the resources to do that. And a lot of organizations aren't prepared to necessarily make the right investments in IT to do that. And one of the things we hear a lot about when we hear organizations say, we need to do more with IT is we hear about this so-called 80-20 rule. And one of the things I, want, I, I like to talk about is my thoughts on the 80-20 rule. And you may hear music. They just started some loud music. Um, but the 80-20 rule basically says that 80% of the IT effort and IT budget is spent on keeping the lights on with only 20% going to innovation. And everybody says things like, we want to make that the 70-30 rule or the 60-40 rule or the 40-60 rule. Let's, do, let's spend almost none of our budget on keeping the lights on and instead turn it all into innovation. Well, my premise is that the 80-20 rule never goes away permanently. So for a period of time, you may reduce that 80% to say 60%, but eventually whatever you've bought with that other 40% is gonna creep back up to the 80% level. So your baseline always changes. So just because someone says, we wanna make this a 60-40 play instead of an 80-20 play, don't listen to them. Make sure that they understand that eventually what you buy has to be supported and ultimately becomes a really critical part of whatever you're doing in IT. And um, so that's sort of my thoughts on the 20 I know it's kind of a tangent, um, but it's, I think it's important for people to understand that um, when you try to change the fundamentals, you've got to change them permanently, not just for today. So to sum up, there's a lot of organizations that are way worse off than you are, even if you think you're doing terribly. If you're keeping the lights on and things are pretty stable, you're doing a good job. If you have the resources and a business environment and business management that supports efforts to transform your organization um, in new ways, um, you're ahead of the curve. And you should be looking at maximizing on that opportunity, especially as we do move into an era of, of major change um, in IT and major opportunity for businesses.